Hello YouTube friends. Here are some more cards that I've been painting recently, just as an introduction. This is mostly going to be a video on the farm. I was so happy to see rain this past week. We've been very, very dry and I've had some things, some plants die. So the wet deck and the dripping trees were a blessing. Adam made some Turkish flatbread. Isn't that wonderful? It's a tear and share kind of loaf and the dipping sauce to go with it is balsamic vinegar with olive oil and thyme, basil, oregano, and some garlic. Let's see what it's like. That looks delicious. The bread has a beautiful texture and I can't wait to enjoy this sauce. Mmm, that is delicious. Thank you, Adam. My basil is doing really well, and I've got a little volunteer tomato plant here. I think this might be a Matt's Wild Cherry. You can tell it's got um, a little spray of, here they, there they are, of cherry tomatoes there. So, kind of excited about that. The basil survived the drought because I watered it a lot every day. Let me show you my gardenia. This poor gardenia bush has been through so much with our hurricanes and sometimes it gets so much water that it turns yellow and loses, well it loses all of its yellow leaves every, you can see that, that's kind of normal, but I mean it has really looked horrible some years. But for some year, some reason this year it has decided to just bloom so much. It's very prolific. It's gorgeous. I took some of these to church. I think I showed you that on my last video. But I wanted to show you the bush itself. It is just amazing. I know I've shown you this little walk before at our farm. I just came through the gate into uh, what we call the pasture because it's fenced in. Um, Tricky's over there doing some private business. We won't intrude. The burn pile desperately needs to be burned, but we're waiting for more rain before we do that. There's a burning ban right now. But back there is the barn. This used to be a small horse farm, and at some point this barn was built for the horses. It's a very interesting structure. There's six bays in this barn, three on the front and three on the back. And um, you see the one in the center there with the door. That We call that the barn office. <laughs> um, and it sits on a concrete slab. And then on either side, see, uh, here's the office. And there's a bay on one side and a bay on the other. And they are dirt floors. There are bays actually that have the horses in them or what other animals um, the man had. And they also have a bit of foundation they have a perimeter block foundation. Adam was out here the other day. He's trying to, whoops, I just stepped in the hole. He's trying to clear out the barn office. This place is full of junk. Um, you see here the foundation he's talking about. Cement block, looks like it's too deep. Got a big opening there. And then there's three bays on the back. And this looks awful now. But there's one back, there's a door here, there's one back there, one in the center behind the barn office, which is where he keeps his um, mower, and then another one on the other side. And they have no foundation. Now this building is very dilapidated and full of mice, probably full of rats, could be full of snakes, but certainly full of termites. And um, there's a big break in the roof, the ceiling is coming in. It's just absolutely horrible. But the only thing really of value here, and I mean this sincerely, is that slab down there. A nice hard slab that could be built on. Adam actually used to sit here and I think watch TV or he had a refrigerator. There's our old deep freeze that's dead. He had a water 
dispenser thing and he's got his drill press and he had a nice chair before the dogs tore it up and but this has been several years ago and now the uh, rats and mice have gotten in here and just turned it into a horrible wreck it's really awful anyway <laughs> it kind of smells bad so he's got a plan now and I'm trying to decide what I think of it tricky where'd you go there you are. Okay. His idea is to take down this building. I really want to save this part, though. <laughs> I love above the door. Isn't that great? Anyway, he wants to take down the building and clear out around it. Uh, this, is the, this is where I used to have chickens, actually, before I moved my chickens closer to the house. I used the bay back there as the chicken coop. It was on the ground. And then this was their little pen over here. Um, and so we enclosed it so you can't mow in there. It's just, it's a frightful mess. But um, he would like to tear the building down, get rid of the, the back three bays, and rebuild three rooms here. One um, on the slab and then one on either side. You can even see how originally this middle room was a standalone structure because... The wall in there is finished clapboards. And so um, he would like to turn this into a three-room structure where we could have guests stay because our house is very small and when we have family that come or um, friends that might want to come visit. Um, there's just, we have one small guest room and that's about it. And um, But there is electricity back here and so he's got a plan to have one two three rooms with a central door and maybe a door on the end and windows um, possibly a, one of those really nice composting toilets um, so you could use that back here we could even have a, a water holding tank so people could take showers a gravity fed shower or a little sink but the thing is that um, even though the building itself right now looks awful, this area is really beautiful, especially when it's mowed. Um, we've took us a month to get our mower running again, but once this burn pile is removed, and I'd like for him to move the burn pile perhaps out in the pasture, this is just a beautiful space. The pecan trees are lovely, and um, the barn is really set far, far back from the road, and when he does clear out, see all this needs to be mowed. There's old metal roofing off of our house. It needs to go away. But when the back of the barn is removed, it, there'll be a lot more space behind. It'll be easier to clear and mow that. Um, it's just a mess. It has looked better in the past, but um, it's, the building is not even good enough to store things in anymore, except for gardening tools, shovels and such. So. But it would be a lovely place. I could really see like a little patio out front. And we're growing a willow dome over here. Uh, I don't know if Americans are very familiar with this, but we have, we can plant willow here so easily. And we have a stand of willow and um, we're growing these slowly. And then eventually when they get long enough, you interlace the branches and you grow it into a dome. So it's like a little room. And it's um, hopefully for the grandchildren to play in when they come to visit. I think that'll be a fun thing. It's just a little feature on the farm. So tell me what you think about this, this idea. Is it crazy to want to do something with this building? Adam's gonna have to do it all himself. And um, I'm wondering if it's too much for him, but he's feeling so much better these days, he's really He's really wanting to um, embark on this project. There might be some wood in there worth using, but I doubt it. There's a few shelves that he's using for um, a new baking table that he's making. I'll show that to you later. But most of the wood in that structure right there is really termite eating. But I guess it's a possibility. That's a long-term project. Tell me what you think. I mentioned that Adam took some shelving out of the barn office, and this is an example. It's really awful looking, but it's really good wood. It's very, very hard, very dense. And so he's taken it out and stripped some of it down 
as you see here and split it he's come up with this and then he's put a lot of it together like this and this is going to be the new tabletop on his baking um, island in the kitchen he still needs to glue all this together and sand it really smooth and level um, but it's just going to be a beautiful thing this is really really nice wood and it would have cost him a fortune um, but the wood was free so I'll keep you up on this he really wants to redo his baking table um, it's up on casters and rolls but uh, it's fallen apart a bit the table that I bought for him to use um, is not as sturdy as he wants so he's going to make his own so this morning I decided to um, upgrade my signs that I put on my farmer's market table. This is one I printed out years ago, and what I do is I put it inside one of these um, plastic stands, little plastic frames, and, um, you know, it's fine. I have both my soaps, and I also have my bee balm and my lip balm, and even something I no longer make, which is plantain salve. Uh, that has morphed into a healing herb ointment. And I have all of it on this one sheet. This is really supposed to be just uh, a sheet for my soaps. So, and it's not very colorful and it's kind of crinkly and old. So I got out my watercolor paper and this morning I painted up something that I think might look better. Red Robin soaps, the natural choice, handmade scented lye soaps. And then I'll just, um, the ingredients and, um, that's my motto at the bottom. It has been for years, natural, healthy, clean. I wanted to make a sign that would show that the unique thing about my products is that they're very natural. That's really my goal. So, and I got a little painting on there, and I think that this will stand out better on my market table. Plus, the paper's better. That's what I did this morning. This is a sailboat painting that I did for a friend. And here is the lunch that Adam and Julia and I enjoyed at a local restaurant in celebration of my birthday. Not a bad day. Thank you so much for joining me today on this little video.